It's difficult for religion to mount a comeback when every time it hits the news, it's for some ridiculous reason. Okay, let's get a little burst here of Harvard political scientist Stephen Walt. There is a right to resist uh, occupation. This is in the UN Charter. Right? That, that occupied peoples have the right to resist, including violent resistance. That subjects them to certain rules as well. They are not supposed to attack innocent civilians. So what Hamas did on October 7th is, in fact, a war crime. But the fact that an occupied population is resisting that occupation is not uh, surprising uh, or illegitimate. The second thing to remember is that uh, the popularity of Hamas has fluctuated a lot within the Palestinian community over time. And not surprisingly, every time the peace process appeared to be close to success, was making progress, might actually produce a genuine, viable Palestinian state, support for Hamas went down. Because, of course, Hamas... Right. The Palestinians are affected by this situation just like Israelis and just like all of us. Right. When I am running late, I tend to be curt, I tend to be rude, I tend to lack empathy for other people. I'm not particularly helpful. All right, just the situation of running late uh, changes how I behave. Late uh, changes how I behave. And so too, if Palestinians feel hope that there's a better world ahead of, for them, they are much less likely to support you know, a violent terrorist organization like Hamas. On the other hand, when a people feels helpless, right, when they see no way out, then they are going to be much more likely to support Hamas.